it's in the beginning of a video and don't just get to it. So I'm going to just get to it. This video is because of my curiosity about whether or not the iPhone 5S 64-bit actually makes any difference for real-world applications. And uh, my application does a lot of computation involving 3D algorithms, namely a Laplacian smooth. So I, what I figured I would do is add a little bit of code to the beginning and end of my Laplacian smooth routine to see, to time it on both 32-bit and 64-bit running on my 5S to see if it really makes a difference. So I'm going to go ahead and run it right now on my 5S. i got to unlock it with my fingerprint here. So I'm running it on 5S right now. This is standard 32-bit code, which is what I have on the App Store running right now because I cannot deploy apps for 64-bit on the App Store on the App Store without alienating everybody that's not running iOS 7. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my scene here, pull up my testing scene. There's about 44,000 triangles here, and I'm going to run my Laplacian smooth algorithm, which takes 1,500 milliseconds to run Laplacian smooth, and the entire routine runs about 2.23 seconds. To get uh, an average, I'm going to go ahead and run that again. So I just hit undo, and I'm going to smooth it again. Now that the cache is warmed up, well, it's about the same. It's a little longer this time. So we'll just go ahead and call the average somewhere around two and a half. Can't really do math in my head too well. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the running instance. And I'm going to switch. It took me a while to figure out how to do this. I'm going to switch it to, uh, to build using... 64-bit. Uh, I didn't get a chance to show you this before, but this is the actual algorithm for the, the Laplacian smooth. I wrote this myself. It's not perfect, but it smooths most meshes without breaking them. It's basically just an average of nearest neighbors. So it's it's computationally expensive. That's why I used it as my benchmark. You know, it, it does a lot of messing around with numbers and computing and stuff like that. So um, let me go ahead and run this on 64-bit, see what we get. So this is the 64-bit run. Remember last time I had about between two and a half to three and a half seconds of time it took to compute the Laplacian smooth. Uh, now I'm doing the exact same data set, select all, and I am smoothing it again on 64-bit, 420 milliseconds, one second for the Laplacian Smooth. So a noticeable actual faster improvement. So much so that I actually think I'm going to keep this copy on my phone uh, for me to use until I get a chance to actually submit this to the store once um, they allow us to do universal builds for iOS 6 and 7. So I'm going to run it one more time I'm getting the same result. This actually surprised me. I didn't expect this much of a benefit. It's still much faster. I'm not really sure why it's taking longer the second time. But um, there you have it, a uh, difference between 32-bit and 64-bit code running on real-world algorithm applications in an iPhone 5S.